Shane, thank you very much indeed. You've got a wonderful relationship with your coach, Neil Manship. You've been yeah. with him for 13 years. If you were to describe the traits in your swing and the things that are important to you in your game, what makes it tick? I suppose the one thing myself and Neil uh, would keep check on, I suppose, is my uh, my setup. I, I believe once my setup is good, I can hit good shots from there. You know, it's just all about timing from there. So, you know, I, I have a tendency to get the ball a bit too far forward with my driver, which means I'm going to miss it right and left. And then sometimes a tendency to get it back in, in my stance with my irons, and it means I trap it too much and my distance control is not great. So it's just all about, you know, ball position alignment and, um, you know, trying to swing the club from there. Well, let's see you demonstrate one. Straight away, I've given you a wedge for a reason we're going to go on to okay, in a second, yeah. but just show us so that. So for technique. here, this is like a wedge. I'm just kind of, just forward in the middle of the stance and it's just kind of, is it? Okay, so there's about a 120-yard wedge shot. Yep. Graham McDowell's going to come into the programme later on and talk about controlling ball flight yeah. with medium irons, keeping the ball down, sending it up when you need to. I'm going to ask you, if you were playing that shot from about 120 yards, but you had a 30-mile-an-hour wind into you, so a very strong yeah. breeze, what would the game plan then be? I've got a 9-iron, is that about right? Yeah, I think a 9-iron would be pretty good. I think 30-mile-an-hour wind, I mean, it probably... I would say that's probably 120, we'd be playing 150, you know, one kind of 45, so... Um, I'd have a nine iron, I normally hit my nine iron 155. So I'd be just kind of, I just, I'd always put it back in my stance a little bit so you can just kind of trap it. But it's important not to try and hit it too hard. You know, when you're playing into the wind, some people kind of try and hit it too hard. If you hit it too hard, it creates more spin on the ball and it's just going to spin up into the wind. So it's, we call it, you know, you play, try and play like a, just all, all arms and just, you know, not, not try and hit down on the ball too hard. So I'd always narrow my stance a little bit and it's a little bit back in my stance. And from there, I just kind of try and swing smoothly and keep the ball down as, as low as I can. Okay. So, so part of keeping the ball down is the gentleness of the yeah. stroke, really. The yeah. harder you hit it, the faster the it spins it, backwards, the, spins the more it balloons. Yeah. Okay, air, let's yeah. just see it. I know you do this quite beautifully. I'll pull that one. But okay, well, we'll yeah. give you one more. Go on. Yeah. But still, we could see the trajectory coming down, less spin yeah. on the ball, exactly the way you described. Lovely. Now, earlier on, I was chatting to one of the spectators who was watching the guys practice, and they were saying, can you get one of the guys to explain holding the ball up against the wind? They don't really okay. know when you guys come in and say, well, I had a seven and I held it up against the yeah. wind. You've got a, a wind right, coming from left to right here about yeah. seven or eight miles an hour. Just how would you go about holding one up against the wind? And what does it mean, really? Yeah, this is a, like a tr uh, for a right-handed player to hold one up into a left right wind is pretty tricky. So, you know, a lot of time we try and use the wind. I would try and use the wind, the wind to my advantage more so than trying to hold it into it. But I'll, I'll hit one here, you know, because sometimes you might have a left flag with a left right wind. So, I mean, for me, like I say, it's all about setup. If I get the ball, if I'm trying to hit this shot, I get the ball back in my stance and obviously aim, you know, just kind of square to the target. And just I just feel it with my hands. Like I'm back in my stance is a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not trying to hit it too hard again. So if I get it, back in my stance and just kind of try and hit it out, feel like I'm hitting it out just right at the target as opposed to, you know, trying to hit it and hold it. If you try and feel like you're holding it left, you'll end up cu cutting across the ball and it'll move too much in the okay. wind. So. Let's see a demonstration. So like I said, it's just back in my stance and square club face. Just kind of pull that one again. Well, yeah, it's, it's all right You're though. being hard on yourself. Yeah, you're always hard am, on yourself. Yeah. Well, We're, thank you so much for that ourselves. insight into some links type shots. I'm sure yeah. our viewers at home are going to be uh, fascinated by your insight and we look forward to watching you play this week. Cool, thank you.